Getting to 500 was a tall order for Del Rand against a quality softball team like Maple Shade, but the Bears put their best game of the season together in Friday's Burlington County Scholastic League game. You could say they finally showed they're as good as Coach Daniel Carlotto kept promising them. You know, after every game it was, okay, we're getting there, the hits are going, they're going to fall, and today they finally fell, fell for us. Anissa got that home run started for us, and it just all clicked for us. Anissa Spano homered to left field to start the fourth inning, and the Bears went on to send 10 batters to the plate. Haley Prem hit a single that brought up Jess Szymanski with two on and nobody out. I knew I had to keep my hands back. I went up a little eager my first at bat, and I got a hit, but it wasn't really the best one. So I just tried to make my adjustments, and I was still a little early, but just happened to fall the right way, which was... A little lucky. I knew I had to move the runners because we were struggling to get runs at that point. So they were right there and I knew with a solid base hit, like my coach told me, she pulled me aside, she's like, just like stay calm and you got it. Szymanski's two run double put the Bears ahead 3-0. Bianca Sippos added a sacrifice fly and Alexis Ryder an RBI ground out in a six run inning. Szymanski closed the scoring with another sacrifice fly in the sixth. With the offensive part taken care of, sophomore pitcher Lindsey Kramer took care of the defense with seven strikeouts and a two-hitter. My fastball was really on today and my curve, and I tried to rely on them most because they were chasing a lot. We had a really rough week, and I think today we just needed to come out and do our best and finally put it all together. Kramer set down 10 batters in order in the late innings as the Bears finished off a 7-0 victory. Megan Stanton's leadoff single in the seventh ended that streak, but didn't end Maple Shade's frustration. Spano grabbed the line drive in left field a moment later, and the Bears got to end with a flourish. Maple Shade fell to 9-5. and five. Well, Our outcome wasn't how we wanted it, so I just say that we just got to get our bats up, so we're just going to work on hitting and hitting at practice tomorrow and until our next game, so that we come out and destroy. From Notre Dame Field in Delran, this is John Lewis.